we can have cattle on campus to, to work with. Uh, these are all Angus, Angus crosses, uh, even the red one. If, if you didn't cover reeds very much. Oh, we've done, we've done okay, so you know there's red Angus besides the black Angus. Uh, although, is he a purebred Angus? How can you tell he's not a purebred Angus? He's got horns. Angus never have horns. And so, he's a cross. He's got some other stuff in him. I think limousine is, is what they cross some of these people. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. He came out of a black Angus cow. Yeah. Saw her what the, uh, the red thing up is from. Uh, in fact, these are from Lee Graham's stuff. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we got them, we got them, they were weighing uh, about 400, 425 pounds. Okay. Uh, we got them usually in the fall. We raise them to the spring. A um, couple problems you'll see on them. You see them? Let's see, just grab them. What? Is that the one? That one over there. What's it got? What is that? The red one has, has some too. Look at this here. Not a cyst. That's yeah, warts. That's yeah, warts. Just like we get. Uh, you cover warts? Do you guys talk about warts? No, they, that's what's all in the no, they're here. Oh, okay. They have to study over the Oh, uh, okay. So, yeah. yeah. Warts are a real common problem, and, and, and ringworm too, in, in cattle. Uh, these came with warts, started real small. Actually, the red one had them first. Hey, come on now. They're, they're wild. Um, the, uh, the red one started in his ear. Uh, where he, they, I think they had another tag in his ear, and it started as a wart. Sometimes it enters a wound like that. And so we weren't worried about it. We thought, oh, we'll cut it out someday. Well, <laughs> pretty soon he grew another one, and then the black one picked it up. It's a virus, and so it spreads really fast. Do we really care? Not much here. We're going to process these guys the 1st of May, and so, uh, or so. We might, we might go a little longer. They're not really finishing out like I wanted them to. But, uh, yeah, we're going to, what we normally do is run them through the chute and take a razor blade and slice them off and then soak them in iodine. Uh, or blue coat, and, and uh, <laughs> usually that'll kill them. We 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 may or not may or may not get around to doing that. So time-wise, how 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 old are they? 14 to 16 months old. Okay. When right we now? when we no when we want to process okay. them. Okay. Yeah, they're they're only I think they're right at uh, 12 now. Really? Yeah. Wow, these guys are only a year old. Yeah, they're only a year old. Freak. Yeah. So 14, 16 months is is average for 1150, 1250 pound steer. Now, what, yeah, so what are they being big. fed at the moment? So oh, right now, we, we uh, of course, they should be on hay and, and grain, but we went to pellets a couple years ago. We had a, our groundskeeper was complaining. He said, he claimed that our, our hay, and we were using grass hay and a variety of stuff, was blowing down into the stadium, and he was getting all kinds of weeds in his grass. So he says, can't you find some cleaner hay? <laughs> so, so not because of that, really, but because I really didn't care. But, but uh, the hay was a mess. You know, it was blowing around. You got yeah. mice in it and stuff. Uh, you just throw it, throw it in the wind, you know, it's just a mess, and they scatter it. Anyway, we went to pellets, and we're feeding a, an alfalfa uh, wheat-based uh, pellet. Uh, and ever since we did that, the manure is more crumbly, it stays cleaner, we have less waste, and they seem to convert a lot quicker and easier on that. The only risk we have is is pushing them too fast with that, not enough fiber that they, that they may go into either bloat or go into uh, acidosis. Uh, we haven't, we've been real good. Uh, we haven't really had too much problem. We had a chronic bloater last year, but uh, these guys have done really well. You see how smooth they are. They're getting, starting to get fat as they, as they develop over the rib. You can start seeing some fat. And we're looking for bulges of fat on either side of the tail head, too, to tell us that they're done. They're just not quite there yet. They may need, they may, they may have to go until the end of May before we're really done. But anyway, so we're, they're getting half pellet and half uh, uh, four-way grain right now. Okay. Uh, corn, uh, barley, oats, and molasses. So. Okay. And then what you'll see in your notes too, guys, is then they, they'll actually do a carcass, I mean a, a live grade, right? You'll do them a, a yeah. grade on the hoof. Which what are the what are the what are the five? Well, five? We're still prime choice select. Yeah, we're 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 shooting for choice on these. Yeah, and, and we, we see that when 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 the ribs covered and you've got a bulge of fat on either side of the tail head and that empty scrotal sac castration is called a cod. When that fills with fat and gets to be about baseball softball size, that's 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 done. It's kind of like a little turkey thing that pops up. You know, you kind of look for those things. I want my own choice. A lot of people don't like that much fat in their meat. I can't do without it. I gotta have the fat. So, so we, we raise all of that the way I, the way I like it. So you, you'll see the difference. That one, guy, that one there is getting fatter. You can start to see the little bulge along his tail. This little black one here is not quite there either. So they're, 
their differences, even though they're getting fed the same thing. So that could be that over the last how many years, that could be a big change, right? Is where we've moved in all the production of these livestock away from too much fat. I mean, we've definitely, th that's, the consumer, the that's consumer been the big change. The trimmer, yeah. right. But I think consumers wonder why it doesn't taste as good as it does at the restaurant. Probably my class calling me. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Mr. Pinfold? Hello.